We're back. Hey, welcome back. Let's make some horrible decisions. Welcome back to Center. Jacob destroys everything. Can you go in there? I've never shot up a community center before. <laughs> Jacob. What? We did it in the church. We did it in the office. In the yeah. cave. Oh, hi. Just sneak up on him. Is there a stealth attack? Uh, I think attacks out of stealth deal more damage, they said. So if you shoot him, that does zero damage. I'm gonna die in here. Use your Madrina. Die, die. <sighs> Continue game. Oh, just loads the auto save. Borst worst. Well, that ugly. Pain. Ew, it's fat that. They just peel it off, the oh, excess fat. That must be horrible. I've heard about that though. The match you're trying to do something like that. Ah. That's actually in a uh, one of the Native American tales I heard, where it's like the coyote gets a buffalo or something, and he's told only carve off a little bit of fat every day, and it'll keep growing back. Ugh. Infinite source of food, but he's like, I don't want to eat just the fat. I want to eat the whole buffalo. So he killed it, ran out of food, and starved. Let's not go in there yet. Let's go over to talk to Adelaide. It's a learning experience, Joey. It's a learning experience. Yeah. And that's what Fallout's all about, right? <laughs> this is the Fallout. It might as well be. It's made by the people who got Fallout, right? It's made by the people that created Fallout. Well, New Vegas, I thought. They also created the original Fallout. Really? Yeah. Same people? Yeah. Huh. They, they created original Fallout, and then they created New Vegas. What's this? Looks like a house. Multiple houses. Yeah. Don't care. But yeah, no, this is the same team that made the original Fallout, and then Bethesda bought it. The people who actually made a good game. Yeah, Bethesda bought it. They made Fallout 2 and 3, and then they were like, fuck. Wait, they made 2? Well, Bethesda. I mean, Bethesda bought it after the first game. Oh. And then they Bethesda made 2 and 3, and then New Vegas they're like, made fuck, one. no one's buying it. The, the sale, all right they're like, sales are going down. We don't want any trouble. So they brought back the team and let them make New Vegas. Hi. I don't know you. You what don't need to. Grace here. Romero. I'm looking for Adelaide. Answers, huh? You must be one of those philosophicals. God, no. Please oh, don't get into quantum mechanics or whatever the fuck we think I was talking Metaphysics. about. Metaphysics? Metaphysics. God, no. Yeah. Um, uh, Reed said something about former workers living out in the wilderness. Yeah, that's us. And you can tell Thompson we're doing just fine by ourselves. Seems like You're it. We're going to start wandering around my camp. Know that I got my sights on you. Cool. We're going to find Adelaide. Over in the hothouse. Tending crop. Oh, the greenhouse. Oh. No offense. But that was like a hot box, but a house. No. We all got problems. I just got shot into space. You and me both. I'm trying to figure out how I'm, I'm going to repair my ship. Couple with marauders. You don't know what enough with the questions means. I do, oh, but I just Zoe. don't acknowledge it. Lady named Zoe went missing some nights ago. Just up and vanished without a trace. Now I'm pacing around wondering if marauders got to her. Oh, that's a side quest. Don't tell me you're scared of your marauders. You could always go looking for her. I'll keep an eye out. Not like Zoe to go wandering. Figured she might be out scavenging, but that ain't exactly her talent. Hmm. Can't imagine where she's gone. Hale's a wide place. Yeah, that's a side quest. Yep. Unless marauders got to her, then parts of her could be in a. Mm. Oh. It's like, where is she? Ah, uh, she's here, there, everywhere. Depends on. What time is it? Why does that matter? Because depending on the time, he might be in one place, or he might be in several. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, Sorry, I watched Batman Dark Knight a few days ago. and I'd... It's a good movie. Yeah, you, the lines stick with you for a few days. Yeah, they do. So there's right. the hothouse. Okay. I like Boom, done. Let's get this over with. 
hungry, there's meat turning on the spit outside. Gilf. Definitely. Or I don't know. Leave them at the gates and be welcomed here. Any questions, dear? Well, it's not so much about the G. That I agree with. It's the F part. What? Mm -hmm. I'm not saying... Well, I don't know. I guess if the F stood for flirt, I'd be fine with that. But I don't think I want to go to beyond second base. The fuck is this? I'm still subscribed to Game Theory? Do you unsubscribe? The Game Theory... Well, I don't remember subscribing to GT Live. I mean... Oh, yeah, no, I don't either. Uh, the Game Theory $1 million challenge for St. Jude featuring Mr. Beast, Dream, Markiplier, and people I don't know. Yeah, I only recognize like four of them. Well, you got Dream, The Odd One's Out, Mr. Odd One's Beast, Out, Jade Animation, Mr. Beast, There's Corpse Husband, me, and Markiplier. I don't know anyone else. Just, you got such oh no, that's. Here. Whoa! What? What'd she say? She's complimenting her treaties. Oh. That's only about a few plants away from a bush. Oh, her dad is here. Oh, she likes to make plant metaphors. <laughs> Tobacco, tobacco, corn? Corn? tobacco and corn? But it's been clean. Spittoon. Spittoon. Uh, is this your greenhouse? Looks like you've made a home for yourselves out here. A home for anyone who's ever turned their backs on Edgewater. A home for those of us with nowhere left to go and nothing to lose. Nothing to lose, you say? I don't know. Got some, some plants. Some people. We put down new roots. Alright, easy there, tree lady. Why you picked you a leave? terrible place to put down roots. Why'd you leave your old home? It's an unpleasant story, dear. But the short of it is that sometimes one wakes up and realizes the place that was once her home for much of her life has changed. The home in which we spent our lives has left us behind, and so we must move on. Mm. That's as much as I will say on the subject. Okay. Well, I guess Reed sent me to make peace with you. Oh I wouldn't say behalf, more like a fifth, maybe a third at worst, a th on his the fifth. I guess it'd be the third one, something about coming back to town or losing power. Reed asks you to consider coming back to town, he's willing to make amends. Something about coming back to town or losing power, I wasn't really listening. Honestly, that's true. Positively soporific. God, no, it's like everything else the church guy I can't stand. What happened to the background? I and my own are living just fine out here by ourselves. Power to you, lady. I'm all with you, but uh, I kind of need a power Re Reed, Reed asked me to... Divert your power to... Okay. This is serious. I'm about to cut off your power. <laughs> he would do such a thing. The question is, why would you agree to his plans? Uh, your camp has a power regulator... I need it to repair my ship. Cannery's got a regulator. If you want ship parts, you ought to rip them out of the cannery's guts and leave them. Oh, I'd love to, but I don't think she would like me hurting Bess. <laughs> she won't care. Parvati won't care? And no. Our end of the grid. Well, she'll care, but whatever. You'd be liberating an entire I mean, I just shot the, I just shot Thompson and took it, so. Odious cannery. You just what? I just shot Thompson in the fucking face and ran in and took it. I'm, I'm probably going to do that. Joey, you sound like you did the evil run through. No, I just did what was convenient. Just shot him on the spot? Didn't even come over here and talk? No, I came over here and talked. And then I diverted the power away from what Edgewater. What you got against the town? I'm not... I, d I diverted the power away from the town to them. And then went and, and shot him and took the regulator. Because that's what I felt was the right thing to do. Uh, well, morality is subjective, Jacob. <laughs> I mean, honestly, yes, but... Think about it, you are liberating an entire town from a lifetime of service to that odious odious cannery. Seems the sort of thing a hero would do. A hero to you, maybe. That sounds confrontational. Uh, I'm not looking to get up mixed up with your problems. I just want to fix my ship. Honestly, true. What have you got against the town? I'll consider it. What do you got against the town? I've seen that miserable excuse for a town with your own lamps. Hollowed out workers laboring their lives away at the cannery. Living off whatever scrap spacer's choice throws them. Yeah? yeah? You know that's true, don't you, Ms. Holcomb? Your father died of overwork. 
His heart gave out. Ooh. He was tired all the time, sure, but he was old, ma'am, and he raised me all by his lonesome. Look what they did to this child. Lost her family to the company, and still she defends them. I mean, that's just indoctrination. Yeah. I don't much like you throwing that in her face to get me on your side. What do you have against people trying to make a living? Let's say I help you. What happens to Edgewater? Life in Edgewater grinds to a halt. The cannery shuts down. Workers desert in droves. And our own little camp grows and thrives. Okay, that's the best case scenario. I mean, most likely he's just trying you to... You bring power to Reed's town and you'll be killing us. Reed knows it. He's counting on it. I guess I'll consider it. Uh, well, I want to go back to the... I've seen that miserable excuse for attack. Appreciate it, yeah. Uh... I was going to do the whole, like, I don't like you throwing that in her face. Uh, well... Eh, fuck it. I'm just gonna go kill him anyway, so... <laughs> you still gotta go to the geothermal plant divert power, though. Oh, fuck me. You can divert... You have to divert the power uh, away from Edgewater. <sighs> oh, okay. well, That's not an exit. Oh, there's loot! Yeah, but it's stealing, Joey. Jacob, do you really care? stealing, Joey. We can't do that. I'll probably Closes stay out the there. door. <laughs> Perfect! Oh, she's staying out there. What? I thought I, someone was using it. No, oh, there's good items in there. Heavy, heavy ammo, ammo, light ammo. Is there any like heavy weapons and long guns? Yeah. Hold steel. Okay. There we go. <clears throat> Down a weapon mod. Ooh. There's Parvati. Let's take our leave, Parvati. We're leaving. But what? We're leaving. <laughs> what about we're leaving? But what will you do? Bathroom. What do you think? Oh, right. Stealing. And stealing. What is a palm frond mixed with a pine? I guess. A pine frond? <laughs> Honestly, I'd like one of those. That kind of sounds interesting. How do I... Get... Can uh, I pull up a map? Yeah. The uh, map, right there. You can also fast travel from the map. Am I going the right direction this way? He used to follow me around. I told him off the cannery. Tomas. Who, him or him? I don't know. Where is Thomas? Where is this Thomas you speak of? Oh, Thomas Kemp. I just want to talk to him. I just want to talk to him. Stay oh, there's a workbench. I just want to talk to him. Stay the fuck away from her. <laughs> uh, oh, I uh, didn't see you there. I was, uh, well, I was just occupying myself with a little engineering. Is that what you call it? Whoa, uh, Miss Parvati. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, his face. He's like, whoa, whoa. Uh, hi, hi. Hello. Uh, <laughs> pretty lady. Well, pretty lady. <laughs> wow. Just great. I've been trying to keep stuff running. Party lady. She party. They didn't kick you out, did they? Oh gosh, no. I, I'm just along with this fella here. Are you from town? I, I mean, you don't exactly look like you're from town. You're not in uniform, as we all have established. I take that as a compliment. <laughs> well, what I meant was you're reasonably well armed and don't look stricken with plague. I have two guns and no armor. Sorry, yeah, I just wasn't sure. Well, you have a spacesuit. You were one huh? of us. You're wearing a spacesuit. Oh, yeah. So, I guess... Decent. So that's armor now. Apparently. I guess, well, compared to what he's wearing. I'd rather be in that than be in what we have for spacesuits. Ah, never too late to start learning. The fact is, I've been, well, lying to everybody here. They think I'm uh, some Mechanical tech whiz. Genius, well, I mean, I can yeah, help them out. They're going to need it. Never too late to start learning. i give you a couple pointers... Wow, this is an evil. You know what? No, again. I'm fucking over the town. Oh, God. Should I fuck over the good people? Or the... I never decided how I was going to be the bad guy. Fuck over the town. I mean, arguably, there's more innocent people in the town than there are out here. Should I be the evil revolutionary or the evil company man? Mm. 
Well, I mean, you'd be screwing over more people by screwing over the company. What are we going to do, Joey? <sighs> Flip a coin. All right. <laughs> he said, that's right. We're flipping a coin. All right. All right, what's what's what? Oh, so one... You you decide. One is what? All right, one is screw over the company. Two is screw over these people. Screw over the company. Damn it. <sighs> Thank you. All right, I'll give him a couple of pointers. I hope I can get. You I'll get experience for it. I don't give a shit about experience. I want to make something of myself. You ever heard of the Young Spacer's Guide to Mechanical oh. Engineering? I didn't realize that'd be a side quest. If I had my hands on one of those data Thanks, packs, Joey. I could teach myself the ins and outs. <laughs> give me a thumbs up. You're welcome. <laughs> I copy with him when he was working in the Canada. I know the old community center kept a copy. Ah. ah. Back in town. Wanted to go kill people there anyway. Even one of those packs. I'd be greatly obliged. I'll find you two. Two pads? What about the third? I wish I knew. I wager the town had the full set once upon a time. Where the third's gone, I can't say. Well, I guess I'll let I'll you know. know if I find Would anything. You? I'd be grateful. You can use the workbench. You got you picked up a weapon mod. Uh, so you can use the workbench that's behind him. Allows you to repair, upgrade, and modify your weapons and armor, keeping you combat ready and in tip top shape at all times. Welcome to the Crux 2000 workbench. On each screen, first select a weapon or armor item that you want to work on, then choose what you want to do to it. Repair it, break it down for parts, modify it with a mod, or tinker to upgrade it. Cool. Alright, so what did the the, uh, the mod I find? You. Well, I don't know. Select a weapon and find out. Go with install mod. So you got a mag oh. to zap. Range weapon mod. Magazine changes the weapon's damage type to shock. So is that going to change the ammunition or just the damage type? Just the damage type. Oh, let's install this, mod. this modification electrically charges the, the rounds. After installing this mod, it cannot be removed unless you are an engineer. Unless you have max engineering, which is like 150. So do we want to do that or no? I mean, that's more damage than what we're doing now. Oh, then yeah. There you go. Let's see if there was anything for the gun. You can also... Uh, let's go with this gun, because this gun's already at 60. Well, we only picked up the one mod, I think. But you can see if we... Yeah. You can also tinker to upgrade stuff, though. If you hit... Uh, tinker. Yeah. Tinker. Can I? Oh, uh, you have an unlocked the ability to tinker. You have to upgrade your science skill to tinker. Again. God, there's so much to do in this game. Yeah. That's oh, uh, a mine. Oh, okay. Glad I stopped. It's a concussion mine. Oh, God. Jesus, Mary and Joseph. I think you can just shoot them. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do now. Oh, that almost killed me. That was you. a bad idea. Don't, don't, don't be close to it. Part. Uh, I think. Come on. There we go. Whew. Wow, concussion mines. God, they have a long ass range. Yeah, they do. I think you're good. River. No one puts mines in a river. <laughs> That's what you think. Let's uh let's eat something. No, go. Ah, armor management. Don't care. There you go. Just kill me? Yeah, use. Kind of, yeah, the carbide, 200% natural health regeneration. So it increases your regeneration. So you're healing from it. Slowly. Ooh, look at that sky. Ooh. Aurora Borealis. Is it or... No, that's Aurora Borealis because it's going in front of the moon. Yeah. Wow, the moon has a ring. Two moons. Three, Three moons. moons? Maybe we're a moon and that's just a bigger planet we can't see. Or Maybe. the ring of a bigger planet we can't see. Oh, those are the Ouroboreas. Yes. Yeah. I thought you were talking about that thing. No, that's a ring. Yeah. Maybe that's ours because it looks like it's kind of... Yeah, it's going around the planet. That one looks That's an like interesting it... thought. Could... That one looks like it's kind of coming this way towards ours and then that one. Unless that's a... Unless we're a moon. I think we are. Yeah. Why, right. are they, why is it all 
Alright. Is it like mostly of a certain element? I guess that would make sense. Probably, yeah. It's usually how it goes. Alright, here's the geothermal plant. This place is... Fall damage. It's okay, I healed. Yeah, you've got 200% health generation right now. For how long, though? For a few seconds. You're going to have to hop the fence. <gasps> yeah, there's a mechanical sentry in there. Low damage weapons are ineffective against heavy armor. Huh? Yeah, a gun isn't going to... That gun isn't going to do a lot of damage. Oh, shit. Use your other gun. But my gun's like... That one's light ammo as well. No, this one's heavy item. Long guns are heavy ammo. But this is light ammo. We already talked about that. It's a long gun. Just shoot it. Oh, she's dead. What? She died. Parvat. Oh, never mind. Damn it. I was going to do it before I already know. I don't care. Oh. Uh, so did you die, Parvati? Yeah, huh? Uh, I noticed you mentioned your dad a lot, but never your mother. Thomas seems very fond of you. You mentioned something earlier that I wanted to ask about. Thomas, let's He's delve down this rabbit hole. She always used to follow me around, asking me to explain what I was doing. Like a puppy, kind of. Not lately seen a man with a bigger or more obvious crush. Are you sure you nearly fell over when he saw you? He nearly nutted when he saw oh, you. Oh, he nearly fell over. He nutted when he saw her, dude. He, he was dude like, was hey. nutting, shitting, and farting all at the same Our time. Hey. Oh, hi, hi, hello. <laughs> the man's was nutting, shitting, and farting. That <laughs> tool he was thinking with was definitely not a wrench. A yuck, it's his penis. <laughs> Should I go with the sexual joke? I mean, what, what would you do, Jacob? I would have been like, I don't give a shit. Oh. But I want to... What, what would be the funny answer? The funny answer was the tool. Thomas always listened to me. Never said I was odd. Never tried to... I just want to think of him like that. If he wants to learn about engineering, we should help him get those data packs he wants. I'd like to do that for him. You mean hmm. about the mission being too clean? Isn't it supposed to be clean? It's a church. Oh, they call the church the mission. Yeah. I know, but Baker says the universe is a machine, that it runs by law. Real okay. machines have gunked up oil, scratches, and worn bits. You can kind tell of? they've seen handling, been used by fire. I mean... The machine Vicar sees is one that ain't never been run. It, computer it's doesn't. Live it. it's Except for like the something keyboard. Something on a museum shelf. Under glass. Yeah. Your mechanic, whenever you see a machine, it's in need of fixing. It's an ideal, not what we live in, but what we strive for. Then why do you want to talk to him? That's a good question. Never much religion myself. Yeah, physics. Physics. Why aren't you allowed Moreau's store anymore? I, no, that's a good question. Kind of a thing, the vending machine when I was 12. You hack a vending machine? Did you steal it or something? Say no more, did you steal some? Not intentionally. Oh, intentionally. Right? So I saw a lock on the machine and thought, oh, this must be how they refill it. But I had to know. So I did my thing. And next thing I know, there's a couple hundred bottles of zero G rolling out the front door and into the road. Oh, uh, chuckle. <laughs> I can see how that could upset some people. You picked the lock on the vending machine. Okay, I've heard enough. Chuckle. It's not funny. Ah, uh, that's funny. Right about then, a bunch of loaders came rolling in the gate, fresh off the salt tuna ships. And Mr. Cobson was up on the porch making a speech about how everyone would have to volunteer a third shift to get it all canned. Anyhow, you ever seen an auto loader run over a bottle of zero G? No. Go on. And it exploded all over him. Exploded all over Mr. Thompson. One bottle after another as the loaders went by. Hmm. I was just shy of working age, so Dad had to pay all the damages. Well, still angry at me. Describe working age. Now, up <laughs> Twelve, so thirteen, fourteen. Yeah, probably. Time I ever made Mr. Thompson look a fool. All right, we'll go sneak in through the no the fence, no the fence. Huh. 
There's kind of a Tesla gate there. I don't... Yep. What? There's kind of... Well, maybe you could break the window. No. There's no window. By immersion is ruined. Oh, wait. That's a uh, pretty thick window. <sighs> My immersion is ruined. Well, I mean, it wouldn't have worked. I'm like a dead marauder. Alright, well. Let's head into the plant, by the shall we? Why is there scientists there? I don't know. Well, I mean, it's a geothermal plant, so I guess it makes sense that there would be scientists. Geologist or something? Scientists running it. Oh, meat. Can't what? Climb. Thought I heard something. Go into the plant. Oh hey. Whoa. What was that? Weapon parts. I oh, don't need any. Criminal activities, trespassing, lock picking, hacking, and murder are all considered illegal activities that are frowned upon by society. Smile. Avoid being seen. You if you want to engage in these activities without consequences. Well, nobody's here to see, so... Nice. Extendo site? Ooh. It's another she weapon likes on. it, so I don't give a shit. Well, I mean, no, everyone here is dead, so... Except for the robots. Yeah, well, they're not alive to begin with. So they can't be dead. I think you just go in through the door over there. <gasps> oh, there's an explodey barrel. Where? Right there in front of it. That thing? Yeah. Oh, well, it's not close to it anymore. It's going over to that one. <gasps> that was water. Was it? Yeah. There you go. That's doing damage. So shock damage was a good call. Yeah. It's almost like they, uh, they kind of planned that. Right? Ooh, energy cells. No. Nah. Oh, more energy cells. The flywheel, whatever that is. All right, let's uh, let's go on in there. Should in I, this building first? No, the entrance is blocked. You're gonna need that rifle because the most of the enemies in there are gonna be mechanical drones. Oh, but I'm so low on ammo. Well, it's about to get tough. Wait, what's this? Shot cannon. It's a heavy weapon. Remember, you can swap a triangle. Oh, and I have ammo for it. From the planet you to your living planet. room. Oh, uh, down campaign will pop back up at the end of combat. Oh, but uh, not in supernova difficulty. Which is like the super hard so that's only when they die oh it's permadeath basically hello oh, hello. hello 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 oh he had some light ammo where's the oh the door's on the other side dang it oh my god i remember this level is it hard no but i had to talk to an npc to get the key to the control room and i killed them do you regret it? Yes, because then I had to do all kind. I had to do all kinds of bullshit. Oh, you have to be close. Oh, did I just waste it, ammo? Yeah, it's a close ranged weapon. Yeah, there you go. Now you're in range. Ha ha! Suck it, turd. Okay, so it's a close range weapon. Great. Nothing like getting in melee range if you're using a ranged weapon. Well, you don't have to get, like, right up on them, but... Well, getting get... close is bad either way. Yeah, but it does hella damage. Plus, you have time dilation. <laughs> Aha! Ah. Alright, here we go. Use the terminal. Redirect Re power. What are you going to do? Plant station or 
Wait, what? Oh, warning. Safety failure is detected. High likelihood of moderate to severe structural damage. Redirecting power is an irreversible procedure. The power redirection function has failed. Manual override required. Please activate all three electrical track switches. So you have to go find them uh. and do the manual override. You didn't think it was going to be that easy, did you? Hoping. Nah. That'll be easy enough. Hoping it would kind of be like the, uh... What was it in Fallout New Vegas? The, uh, the tower? Yeah, the where like, one. You, you just get to the top. And... Yeah. Yeah, no, you're not that lucky. Oh, hey. Wow, that is kind of broken. Not really. It probably only works on robots. I'd imagine. Oh, square. Yep, hit the wrong button. Ooh, thug kit. Tremor so cleaver. It's an armor mod. Oh, oh look at Boss's office. Ooh, what's in the locker? Stand up here, put my hips on my waist, and put out my hips. Ooh. Or my hands on my hips and thrust forward from the boss. Oh, there's nothing in there. What's in the terminal? Unlock oh. the store. Yeah. Sure. Oh, I think it unlocks the, the door over there. Messages. I don't give a shit about any I of I think this. it unlocks that door there. Oh, to no. his private bathroom. Oh. Heavy ammo. That was kind of worth it. Wait. Or maybe it was the other door across the Oh, way. there's a toilet. That's a tiny... You sit on that? I guess. You must have a tiny butt. I guess. <gasps> chat. No, not chest. Chinese checkers. I don't know what it is, actually. It looks like a combination of, like, four games. Yeah. One of them being Chinese checkers. What's it actually called? Chinese checkers? Yeah, is that what it's actually called? I don't think it's called that. I don't know. Let's look it up. That might be an offensive term. I don't know. Let's find out. <gasps> hey, that little guy. Go back here and die. You live today. Pick up Birdie's Breathe Inhalant. Don't know what that is. Knock door. Ooh, maybe not. We'll see if we can. Hmm. It's not even Chinese. So it is just an offensive term. Chinese checkers was invented in Germany in 1892. So it is an offensive term. The inventors gave it the, the name Sternhalma. It's a variation of an older American oh, game, Halma. Oh, did I just have the passcode? Uh, I did, yeah. for some reason. Do I want to unlock this, though? Oh, it'll be maybe. I can, but do I want to? Well, maybe it'll be good stuff in there. Let's hope. Hey, if it takes four picks, probably. An assault rifle. Which we already have. No, we have a light rifle. Do we? Yes. And three heavy ammunition. Oh, need a... Come on, Jim. Or you can find the security chief's card. Weapon parts? Weapon parts? Ho! Ooh, a bit cartridge. 108 bits. Heavy ammunition. Alright, so that's the, the first lever is through there. So, yeah, see the one that... We'll go back to weapons. Because the one we have is a light rifle. Light assault oh, rifle. Sorry, hit the wrong button. See, we have a light assault rifle. That's mm -hmm. a regular assault rifle. But our assault rifle has a mod on it. Ah. You can't take... Ah, damn. If I knew we would have got that, I would have kept it. But kept what? The regular one? I would have kept the mod if I knew we were going to get a better one. Oh. It does have higher DPS. Well, we don't need it because that mostly helps for robots. And I already got this gun for robots. Yeah. All right. Well, there's the first switch. There's some enemies nearby. There is a robot. Robot down there. Robot. A robot. Dirty robots. Taking my job. They took her gerbs. They took her gerbs. They took her gerbs. Who hit the switch? I'm checking. It's just stealth. There's no did she take another one out? I she guess so. did. Yeah, she did. Nice job, Parvati. Where's the switch? She's, oh, it's in the next room. Oh. oh. To your right. 
Oh. Oh, <laughs> uh, well, there's a robot. I'm pretty sure if you shock it, it can't respond. Yeah, it can't. It can't move. But the one down there can. No, it didn't even see you. What's it growling? Oh, it's sweeping. It's searching now. It's in search mode. Incoming. Oh, well. Yeah, it can't do anything when you shock it. All right. Are bit cartridges money? I think so. Okay. Because we got a lot of money now, if so. Good old looting. Oh, there's the switch. In here? No, behind you. It's right oh. There. God. <laughs> Not the most attentive person. There you go. What will happen to Miss McDivitt's folks if we send power to the Vale? Parvati, stop using ethos. Ethos. Where are we headed? Oh, yeah. Notice you mentioned dad. That's on account of how I never met her. Ah, ha. <laughs> she left me before I was even born. Don't know how that happened, but she did. Maybe she's dead? I don't rightly know. She was in another division of the Stasis Choice family. She worked in the Vale a few months sorting mechanical computers. Her contract said any kids she had, expected or not, belonged to her office from the time of conception. So when I was born, I got sent here. Wow. Wow. That's inhuman. It's sensible. Dad just fixed machines. She did some kind of crazy math, high level stuff. Oh, she, she was a scientist. Mm. We'll, we'll talk, talk later. later. But yeah, no, that's inhuman. What's in there? Going to check. Ooh, terminal. Hello. Access repair log. Uh, boring stuff. It's just lore. We don't care for world building, we care for world destroying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But at least this gets us up here to the next switch, I think. <gasps> There's where all that grind was coming from. Are you leading me to something, boy? Did Timmy fall down the well? Oh, I know. I wasn't thinking to this level. I was thinking of another level. I, I killed that thing. I hit it. Ooh. Oh. oh Were we cool. down there? No. No. Why are all so many of these things already destroyed? Probably because marauders came through. Uh, hacking skill too low. Uh, too low 5S. Or you need Chester's passcode. God damn it. Where's Chester? Might have been from one of the terminals. Should I go back to some of the terminals and check? Nah. Is this Chester? Nope. Uh, Whisper quiet muzzle, though. I'm guessing that's... Uh, oh, that looks cool. Higgins. Higgins. Higgins! Speak up, my boy. Can't hear you. Midoriya, my boy. Midori, young Midoriya. Oh, young Midoriya, that's right. I don't know who you the are. The ghost of your past will never leave you alone, Higgins. Oh... And neither will my pistol. Mm, I'm gonna shoot Higgins. I see no reason not to. <laughs> well, the switch is through there. Higgins might be down there. Yeah, but who cares? I care. Blood needs to flow, Joey. Blood for the blood god? No, blood for me. Fuck the blood god. <laughs> uh... Mind the steam. You're liable to get scalded. Oh. Higgins! No, you can't do that. Let's go around. Yes, oh, there's a robot. You know you could just crouch under the pipe, right? You know you could have just crouched under the pipe, right? <laughs> oh, that was a critical. Take a crouch. Other button. 
I can figure. I can do it, Joe. Jacob, you crouch. I did it on the cycle nuts. I can do it here. Jacob, no, we're not soft log. Just crouch. I failed, Joey. Is this? There's a terminal. Here they come. Oh hi. What's that terminal down there? Where? Oh, to your left. Right oh. There. Uh, Engineering 15 shut off all the steam release valves. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There you go. Then you don't gotta worry about getting scalded. Then you can just climb. Ooh, Ooh grenade. grenade launcher. Grenade launcher? Yeah, I think that's a grenade launcher. I'll check oh, it. There's a workbench. Let's check real quick. It's 40 minutes, Joey. Uh, yeah, but just look at the weapon. It's a grenade launcher. Uh, grenade launcher. And that's right. a great note to leave on. Alright, we're gonna finish this up next time. Yeah. Right. Later.